The Great Barrier Reef is one of the seven wonders of the natural world, and pulling away from it and viewing it from a great distance, you can understand why. It is larger than the Great Wall of China, and the only living thing on the earth visible from space. The food web shown demonstrates the feeding habits of many different organisms that live in the Great Barrier Reef. This is shown by the arrow represented in the food chain. For example, we can gather that the marine algae is eaten by a free, by free organisms, krill, giant clam, and pyroplankton. Despite how energy enters the Great Barrier Reef and leaves the reef system, energy enters the system by heat from the sun, which is then trapped inside algae and plankton, which are the producers and produce the most heat. These organisms are then fed on by other animals, which cases the energy to release. If just one organism is removed, Animals that depend on that organism for the food will begin to die off. As those animals die, the web will eventually begin to collapse. As the apex predators of the oceans, the role of the sharks is to keep other marine life in healthy balance and to regulate the oceans. Remove the sharks and that balance is seriously upset. If, if all fish went extinct, then the majority of the ocean's predators would die out. Organisms which are prey to the same animals which eat fish may also be wiped out as predators would desperately try to use them to find food. The most popular reasons to why the, the reef is in danger is 1. Climate change, 2. Pollution, and 3. Overfishing. Climate, climate change is identified as one of the biggest threats to the Great Barrier Reef as it affects the reef in a number of ways. Some of the effects include the increased frequency of severe weather events, ocean acidification, rising sea, sea temperature and the rising sea of levels. Climate change which is also known as global warming occurs when a big amount of greenhouse gases are released into the atmosphere due to human activities such as burning fossil fuels. Pollution has made a large amount of impacts on the Great Barrier Reef and its and struggle for survival. Human-based pollution that has caused such harm to our reefs need, needs to be stopped or reduced by a lot if we, if we wish to save our fragile ecosystem. There are many long-term and short some consequences of the Great Barrier Reef food, food web, which includes overfishing. For example, if all fish went extinct, then the, then the majority of the ocean's predators would die out due to overfishing. Our group completed a ex an experiment, which was to determine whether the change of water temperature increases the number of gill movements in 15 seconds. The cooler the water, the less number of gill movements, and the higher the water temperature, the more gill movements were made. The, the equipment we used was a 40 centimeter fish tank full of water, a goldfish, a sunfish, a catfish, a chimera, a heater, and a timer. What we did was set the temperature to 5 degrees and count how many movements the gill made in 15 seconds and record it down. At 5 degrees, there were 10 gill movements of a goldfish and in 10 degrees it was the same thing in 15 degrees it was 13 20 degrees 16 25 degrees was 19 
and in 30 degrees, they went up massively to 31 gill meters. Throughout the experiments, we have learned that the higher the temperature of the water increases oxygen, decreases. Therefore, it requires more gill, gill movements of the fish. Throughout the, uh, from the results of our experiment, if the reef temperature went up by an extra two degrees, it would it would affect the different types of fishes as they would stress out and they would use more gill movement. The greenhouse effect is a natural process by which some of the radiant heat from the sun is captured into the lower atmosphere of the earth which is maintaining the temperature of the earth's surface. The gases that help capture the heat called greenhouse gases include water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide and a variety of manufactured chemicals. Some are emitted from natural sources which result in human activities. Global warming is caused by the increase in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. These greenhouse gases trap in solar radiation to keep the heat within the atmosphere of the earth. Because of the industrial era, greenhouse gases levels have escalated in the past century. Greenhouse gases are a natural part of the atmosphere. The gases absorb solar radiation and keeps the earth warm to help human life. Due to, due to different human activities, including burning fossil fuels for energy, land nuclear, it has increased the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. There are three different types of greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. A greenhouse is a building or complex in which plants are grown. These structures range in size from small sheds to in industrial sized buildings. A small greenhouse is known as a cold frame. To put in rather s simpler words, it is a glass building in which plants that need to be protected from cold weather, particularly in cool climates. Greenhouses are useful for growing and propagating plants because they both allow sunlight to enter and prevent heat from escaping. The transparent covering of the greenhouse allows visible light to enter unhindered where it warms the interior as it is absorbed by the material within. Biotic factors are the living parts of an ecosystem such as animals, plants and microorganisms. The biotic factors play a massive impact in endangering the Great Barrier Reef. This is due to the different roles it plays. A biotic factor that has a massive impact on the Great Barrier Reef is overfishing. This is performed by humans, and due to this, it has many consequences on the species of the reef. The more overfishing that occurs in the Great Barrier Reef ruins the food web and is causes the death of many species, and this most animals are not able to consume the food they are meant to eat. One strategy towards saving the reef is the, pro is the promotion of renewable sources. Renewable energy or renewable energy sources is energy which can be obtained from natural resources that can always be used. Examples of this include bioenergy, geothermal energy, hydropower, solar power and wind energy. Most, most electricity is produced by burning fossil fuels like coal, oil and natural gas. This produces carbon dioxide and other emissions that add to the greenhouse gas already in the atmosphere, contributing to the global warming. A small amount of electricity is generated from wind power, solar power, and geothermal power plants. All of these produce no carbon dioxide or harmful emissions and so are good for the environment. These are, these are obviously promoted for good cause. It is in our strong opinion that the Australian government should invest a $4 million investment into saving the Great Barrier Reef. One of the reasons towards this argument is that the support of the government that they will be able to create a barrier to stop society from harming the reef. This barrier can be created from the, from the investment given to stop overfishing from occurring 
and less pollution ending up in the waters and harming the different species. Now the reason why the $4 million investment should go towards the Red Barrier Reef is because the National Parks and Wildlife Services will be able to afford to get in an advertisement to, to promote strategies to save the reef. Some of these strategies include society carbon footprints by purchasing green electricity, buying energy and water efficient public